Okay, so I'm back and before the video started, it's really appreciated when you want to like, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Right, so, but anyway, let's get into this one. So I'm I'm talking about some of the things from the last episode yesterday. Starting with this Biggie and Roly stuff, this fight was crazy. This fight was crazy. I mean Roly Mark and Biggie, uh, she bit the girl and she kicked her in her chest. I don't think I've ever seen Roly like that before. I don't know what it was. I don't, yeah. And then she tried to blame Biggie for biting herself, even though I do think she was just being sarcastic. But it's like, you really bit this girl, broke skin, drew blood, all, that is nasty. And then during that little fight argument, Natalie really got on my nerve because Roly, she was trying to clown Biggie, trying to say, uh, the backpack boys, then I know Biggie, and Biggie don't got to deal with them, really. It was Natalie that had a deal. And then whole time is a lie. Biggie did have a deal with the backpack boys they definitely know who she is and biggie was like natalie don't they know who i am natalie sat there quiet really and then it's like roly who told you that or did you make up another lie again or did you make that up again or did someone tell you and like i know natalie and roly is cool but it's like damn natalie you ain't really had no beef with biggies it's, why you ain't just say yeah they know her I don't, mm, 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 I ain't really like that one. Then on top of that, Natalie, yesterday, she said a lot of slick stuff about this other group, considering she didn't have no beef with none of them. From what I remember, like, the the only girl you had beef with over there was Tzatziki and Camila. You and Camila made up, and then you made up with Tzatziki. It was like, what's the problem? And on top of that, I don't like this we better than y'all type of attitude that y'all keep giving to these other girls. Like, why do y'all keep doing that? Like, it's really weird. Like, it really do be getting high school, bro. And then y'all be wondering why people like Tzatziki and Scott and Camila, that whole group, way better than y'all. Because y'all just be talking and it's like, what? But first of all, everyone is already team whatever house is Camila and them, right? By the end of this season, I'm pretty, majority of the audience is going to be on their side. Because they don't be doing weird stuff. We got Mariah Lynn, right? I want to, first of all, it's been saying that people have been calling Mariah Lynn two face for like weeks now. And me personally, I never like understood it or looked deep into it or none of that. But it's like this episode, I kind of like you really was cool, cool, buddy, laughing, kiki, and giggling with your group just to go and tell Tasiki what they said about her. And I get it. You and Tasiki is friends. I understand. But if if they talking about your friend like this, why are you sitting there giggling and laughing and all this other stuff with them? Like, huh? Like, what? I, I don't know if that's a big deal to people. That was just a little weird to me. That was just, a, a, you know, a little weird to me. Now this Scarface and T situation. <laughs> so, T came in the house, jolly. You know, the total opposite of, I guess, the day before. T walked in the house, smiling, all smiles, saying hi to everybody. Even some of the girls she fought the day before. Uh, I think Tasiki was the one that gave her a hug. She asked Smiley, was she feeling better? Because, you know, like, the miscarriage stuff. But... T came in there with positive vibes. Do I think she was, um, uh, what is it called? Like, being smart? Yeah. But she came in there with positive vibes. In my opinion, she gagged y'all. If you ask me, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She gagged y'all, right? And then Roly, she like, why you ain't had this energy yesterday on the bus? I'm like, nigga, is you slow? The girl was sick. She was sick. I'm like, bro, what did you want her to do? Cartwheels? <laughs> How did you want her to react while she was sick, right? It didn't make sense. Then you're like, well, why would you come if you were sick? Nigga, the producers kept telling her to come. Her bosses, the one that's paying her, they kept telling her to come. But then Scarface, unprovoked, no one said nothing to you, right? She goes and said, oh, maybe it was the crack or something like that. Basically saying T was on crack. Now T, she came back with a, uh, a clap back talking about some of your mama with a smile on her face, and I was here for it. Scarface, she tried to sneak. I don't know who you thought you was. It, it, first of all, everyone sees you. You're not really sneaking. Everyone sees you, right? And then they start fighting. They like, girl, you started the argument. You said something to her first, and now you want to fight. It's, it's, really, it's weird. It's really weird. This is the third week in a row where Roly and Scarface... I don't know. It's like every episode, y'all two is losing more and more fans. Like, this fight made less sense than the first one. You started it, and you mad because she said something back? What? Scarface, she posted tea talking about some mothers and kids are off limits, right? Now, me personally, I I don't take the joke, your mom or your mother or whatever you want to call it, seriously. Like, your mother, but first of all, is literally a third grade joke. Kids say that. And then on top of that, you started it, nigga. Like, what? I'm not understanding. It's like, when my brother be talking crap to me, I still say your mother. And we got the same mother. It could be like the internet. Y'all know things change and some things that you were saying before you can't really say now on the internet. But I think right now, the joke, your mama is not one of them things. I don't think no one really cares about that joke. 
You just tried to justify you fighting her again because you didn't really have an excuse in my opinion. Barface and Roley are literally the most hated right now. Like T, people feel like um T is annoying. They think she loud, right? Um, Y'all are most hated because people genuinely feel like y'all are bullies. Bullies. And not everyone don't like her own baddies, but if you think about it, this is y'all fault. Y'all did this, like... <laughs> Y'all did it, bro. Like, I'm excited because, like, y'all hyping her up and all this other stuff. She get on the show. This girl is annoying. She's a little annoying. I don't know if this how she acted on the other show because I don't know her like that. But it's like, so far, she's annoying. Now, these comments are comments under Scarface Instagram. Like, on her own page, this is what people saying, right? First, one person said she could have disrespected you. Why she had to bring your mother in it? I'm with you on this because whose mother you talking about? Not mine. Now, like I just said, your mama is literally a eight-year-old joke. Um, I feel like if T would have said your kids are crackheads, maybe I would have been like, oh my God, T, that was a little crazy. But she said your mama. She said your mother. So, so okay, so <laughs> it's real serious when she said your mama, but it wasn't serious when she said the girl literally do crack. Crack? Really? Someone said, and before y'all say, well, you said she was on crack. Exactly. I'm talking about you. Don't bring my mama into it, right? Someone said, girl, go back to that other network with that BS. You were just mad for nothing. Someone said, they should have never put you on the show. You do too much already. They said, you losing your fans behind Roly. Girl, she ate you up. You the bitter one, baby. All this girl do is smile and laugh and sit pretty, right? They said, E.T. want to be a baddie so bad. It's not giving baddie. And these wigs aggravating the F out of me. Someone said, you started with her. You keep up uh, with everything but a dental plan. Okay, oh my God. He said, so you said she was on crack and mad that she responded. It's not giving what you think it does. Someone said, I don't like you. They said, Scarface, usually I got your back, but I couldn't with this. They said, you a hater. You're too old to be fighting over little petty stuff. It's given. Someone said, why would you say she on crack, though? You unprovokedly started with her. You simply just looking for a reason. I said that. It was definitely unprovoked. Um, They said, I see you lost a lot of people that used to F with you because these comments are hilarious. Someone said, you a hater. You got to be jelly of her. They said, bro, you a hater. You should have took off that crunchy wig. I don't know what you tied it up like. Like it was something to protect. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so I asked y'all, was T wrong for saying your mother, right? 4,000 of y'all voted, 95% of y'all said no, she was not wrong, and I agree. So if you found this video interesting, and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications, and thank you.